Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Tarot Readings, where I do readings for celebrities and celebrities only. Thank you to each and every one of you all that took part in my survey on my community tab. Um, Nicki Minaj, of course, is a Sagittarius, but she has a lot of Earth in her chart. I believe her Mars is in Capricorn, okay, which has to do with like mostly like her love language or the type of person she's attracted to, as well as her moon being in Virgo. But she does have a uh, Sagittarius, I believe. I might have, I may have to look her chart back up. That's why I have this phone here, but um, I don't want to get too long winded. Um, I may just pull her chart a little later, but first I wanted to talk about her husband, okay, Kenneth Petty. He has a birth chart online as well, and he is, y'all, he has so much Aries in his chart. Oh my God. Look, when I tell you, I mean, obvious, he was very reckless when he was younger, uh, you know, of course, by looking at his criminal record, but Petty may have been like a hothead, but I'm going to be honest with him down the line he is somebody that may especially now that he's had children with nikki this is somebody and his whole life is totally different he's living a totally different life than what he uh did before he may end up just like i know it was a model i can't think of his name he has a whole bunch of tattoos he had a rough upbringing just so happened he had a mugshot and his mugshot got him, landed him a modeling contract. If you guys know his name, comment down below his name. But long story short, this guy went from just a uh, hoodlum out here in the streets to being this super in demand male model. Okay. So, you know, I don't believe that, you know, your situation has to stay the same. You do, you can change and move on to become a new person. And I'm just going to be honest, just from looking at some of the things in Kenneth Petty's chart, I believe his sun, moon, and his Mercury or his Mars, okay, is in Aries, but he does, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, Mercury. But I believe his Mars is in Cancer and then he has an Earth Venus, if I'm not mistaken. Again, guys, comment down below if you can give me like the full details. But I just really am so excited about getting into this reading because, I, of course, you guys chose it. But like I said, I'm a huge fan of Nikki, so I would be, you know, excited to see what comes through. Long story short, with his Mars in Cancer and his Venus in Earth, this is somebody that... Um, some may say, you know, Nikki being like the breadwinner, or they may kind of judge that and say, oh, well, she's taking care of him or whatever the case may be. But he is such a family man. Don't let his background fool you. With that earth energy that he has, along with that, you know, nurturing cancer energy, this is somebody that I feel life, marriage is something that actually changed him. I would, I'm going to be honest. I would go so far as to say saved him. OK, from a life that he could have continued living and, you know, God forbid, could have ended up, you know, in prison again or, 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 you know, passed away from living a rough life. But long story short, like I said before, this woman love this man, Dirty Draws. We're going to see if she still feels this way and also individual read on Nikki as well. So <sighs> sorry for being so long winded. Let's go ahead and get into this energy and start with Nicki Minaj, okay? Dear God, I ask you to give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through at this time, please. Give me the most detailed and accurate messages that need to come through for Nicki Minaj. How is Nicki Minaj currently feeling at this time, please? What is the energy around Nicki Minaj? Ooh, you got the Ten of Swords. I was not expecting that to pop out. Ten of Swords here, okay? This is a backstabbing type of energy here. Uh, this could be like some type of pain or this could be self-inflicted, okay? Could also be, of course, somebody, you know, because Swords are dealing with the mind and what you tell yourself. It could be something Nikki's telling herself. I did mention that she has a Virgo moon. Virgo moon people, this deals with your emotions. And I do feel like for her, she could be a bit of a perfectionist, okay? Somebody that always want things um, done a certain way. Now, it's really good from a 
a boss standpoint, but this may put off people in her life. I'm just being honest. She may have a hard time with friends or maintaining friends or falling out with friends due to, um, you know, certain things within her moon energy. Okay. And everything here is alleged because of course we're dealing with public figures. So tarot is for entertainment purposes only. Let me tell you, Ooh, somebody, she walking away from somebody, whether this is somebody like a love interest, somebody in the industry, friend, family member. Nikki said, adios, baby, I'm out the door. Okay. Cause you got the eight of cups here walking away. Okay. From disillusionment or leaving something behind. Y'all, she's leaving something behind. Somebody backstab Nikki alleged. Okay. Oh, yep. Nine of Wands there in the reverse. Okay. Because let me tell you, whoever she walked away from, she did this because she wasn't sure. Like, I don't know who side you on. You fooling with me or you fooling with other people? Keep in mind that the swords is, of course, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy because it's air. But then we also have cups here and wands. So it could be um, any sign. But I'm going to be honest. What literally just popped in my head is Kanye West. OK, so I don't know if she had like a final middle finger to Kanye West, but I do know there were some issues in regards to Kanye working with Cardi B after um, not, I guess, publishing a song that she did with him and all the other issues behind that. I think Kanye was like he was on a new trip and he was a new person and he found himself in some way. So he wasn't really listening or I guess you would say secular music wasn't his thing at that time when he was into God and everything else, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah. All right. You also have here two of cups. Yep. I'm telling y'all she ended a partnership. She ended a partnership. Look, uh, guys coming down below. I know we have a lot of barbs that are out there and you guys will give the details. Okay. For the barbs out there. Um, let me know if there is somebody other than Kanye that Nicki Minaj has walked away from. It looks like she may have ended a partnership with um, her management company. Uh, it's somebody she had a falling out with, y'all. She had a falling out and she is done with the situation. This wasn't easy though, okay? Because we do have the two of cups. So whoever this person is that she's walked away from at one point, this was a good partnership, okay? Or at least so she thought. This is somebody she could trust. If you take a look at this card here, you have two people looking at each other directly in the eye. This is not shifty energy. This is somebody you trust enough that you call them family. So whoever this person is, she feels like, damn, she feels 10 times she felt like she'd been crossed 10 times over because this person here is somebody that she may have never thought would cross her like that. OK, so you have this six of swords in a reverse. So she's holding on to some emotional baggage. There is some unresolved issues and she's having a hard time transitioning from this, meaning that she may have walked away, but she may have walked away with like her middle finger. OK, or I feel like she's giving somebody the silent treatment. Allegedly, she if she said anything in the public behind the scenes, she's not picking up like a phone call. Like, I don't want nothing to do with you. You know who I thought you were. You fake, you phony, something. If this is not her, this is how somebody is feeling about Nikki. Okay. Yeah. You have, yep. It's something to do with money, money and partnership. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm so thirsty. Sometimes if you're thirsty like this in a reading, it, it has something to do with what's going on with the person you're reading for. Whew, I feel anxious. So I don't know if she's been in a, a energy where she feels anxious or she feels like she can't breathe. This could be a part of like when she was like pushed up against like her fans and everything when they were there to see her. But I literally feel so anxious, like I can't breathe. But you also have the Nine of Pentacles in a reverse, okay? Nikki, like I mentioned before, let me tell you something. Baby, there's two things Nikki don't play about. Her family and her money. All right? Because you got this nine of pentacles here in reverse. She don't like shady business. She don't like where somebody's trying to stick. <laughs> well, I just got stick me for my paper. Didn't uh, Lil' Kim say that? Stick me for my paper. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of female energy here. So she may have fallen out with a female. All right? Allegedly. But... This nine of pentacles here in the reverse is somebody that is obsessed with work. Sometimes she could be a little too obsessed with it. Like she'll put, um, she doesn't, like I said, she doesn't play about her craft 
And I, I feel like there's somebody, I keep feeling the need to want to say play. Somebody's playing in her face or she felt like they were playing in her face and she didn't like that. You cannot let this go. You, I mean, you cannot, I say you cannot let this go. You cannot make this up. I'm telling you, somebody has pissed her off and she can't let this situation go. All right. Whoever this person is, they did something. Either she felt like they were holding on to something that she wanted or they were holding back something that she wanted in a situation, or they were greedy as hell. Somebody may have tried to stick her for some paper. There could have been a money a contract or some issue dispute that is going on here, okay? Um, also, you have the, yep, she don't trust whoever this is. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Whoever this person is right here to her, she's like, no, you move different. So therefore, I can't fool with you no more. You fickle. Okay, you may smile in somebody else's face and then you come smiling and mad. I don't trust you. And um, she feels like whoever this is, she feels like they're fake. Okay, she feels like this is a fantasy. Whoever this person that she thought had, she had a good connection with, she felt like she was, uh, y'all, yeah, somebody blindsided Nikki and she is pissed. Okay, I don't know if she was in a deal with somebody, but she, she cut that deal or she cut her losses. She was okay with losing seven figures or she was okay with losing nine figures. It's, it's, it's something about I'm okay with losing a certain amount of money as long as I don't have to deal with you anymore. So if I got to lose out on something, I'd rather lose out on it. Okay, seven of pentacles in a reverse has to do with somebody that, yep, there's something that went down because when you have that seven of pentacles in the reverse, this is a person that feels like I'm putting in all this work and I ain't getting no rewards for it. Okay. So this, I don't know. There's some type of a deal or something that went down and she's not happy with it. You also have the Knight of pentacles in a reverse could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in this energy here. But with that Knight of pentacles there, Again, I do feel like this may have been somebody that was greedy, may have been somebody that was taken, or they may have wanted her to do so much or to put so much in, but then she didn't get some residuals. I don't know why I want to say residuals. Bottom of the deck, there's the King of Pentacles. It doesn't, let me tell you something. What I literally, I keep getting, I'm sorry, y'all, if I sound like I'm talking over myself, but Spirit has so many messages about Nikki that I literally feel like I can't breathe. Um, let me try. <sighs> oh, I haven't got this worked up since Johnny Depp. So I don't know if Nikki is just a hyper right now. Um, there's a lot that's going on or she's dealing with somebody very hyper. Whew, okay. Okay, let's clear the energy. Slow it down, spirit, because my goodness. Okay. Let me tell you, regardless of whoever this is that has backstabbed her, it could be, could be one or more people. Regardless of what this person, somebody is throwing daggers or she is perceiving somebody throwing her daggers. But what people don't understand and what they don't recognize is that no matter what you do to Nicki Minaj, okay, King of Pentacles is who she is. Nicki is very abundant. We know that financially she has a lot. She's very prosperous. She is generous. She doesn't mind being a provider when it comes to her family. And what people don't realize that when it comes to Nikki is that you cannot stop what God has for you. She was meant to be in this role. Let's see why these messages are coming through. She was meant to be in this role. You can't make this up. I literally almost screamed. I told y'all there's somebody that's trying to block her, whether this is her money, her creativity. We don't know. There's some hindrance there, y'all. Could be possible black magic, allegedly. Could be something going on. There's somebody in the industry. Oh, this is a big wig. Whoever this is, allegedly, this is a big wig. This is somebody who is a king of pentacles. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. This is a very powerful person. Or at least they're trying to stop a very powerful person from continuous, continuing to prosper. When I tell you there have been a lot of people that have talked about Nikki's bag being stopped, 
I usually try not to comment on it. I'm going to just be honest. The energy I'm getting in this reading and the way I feel like I can't breathe and I got to tell you more and more and more, baby, somebody trying to stop Nikki's blessings. But I don't care who you are. When something is meant for you, what that saying goes, what God has for you is for you. What she has for her is for her. OK, and no amount of anything is going to stop her from succeeding. OK, but fate has blocked this path. OK, yeah, because there was somebody in her life that did not yet yeah, that she didn't need to have there. She could be somebody that's very optimistic. OK, she is a Sagittarius. So keep that in mind. Sagittarius can be a lot like Aquarius is OK, or air signs in general, where they're always looking on the sunny side. Sagittarius very stereotypically, stereotypically the hey, this person may have screwed me over. I know this time around, things are going to be different. You can't take everybody at face value. Some people have hidden agendas and some people are who they say they are. When they show you who they are the first time, believe them. She may have let somebody back into her life that crossed her again. She may have walked away and she let them back in and she had some regrets about it or she knew, she, she knew, she knew in her heart. She knew somebody was going to cross her. She knew some type of connection was going to leave her broken. Okay. Is what I'm seeing here. All right. And with that two of cups, there's some tension she has. I'm telling you, there's some tension now that she has with somebody. And she knows that this situation is not the same. Also, you have the nine of cups here in the reverse, which has to do with somebody not being satisfied. She's not satisfied either with the industry, somebody in the industry. There's some type of drama going on here. But at the end of the day, she's focusing on, look at this. Look at this. At the end of the day, she's focusing on having patience and finding meaning in her own life. She's gotten to a point in her life where she's not letting as many things affect her as she used to. She's been a little bit more laid back because here's the thing. She's no fool. She knows that this person is deceptive or there's people in the industry that are deceptive and cunning that will do certain things and try to twist words and make her look a certain way or do certain things. Okay. Not saying she's a saint, She's no fool, though. She's learned from being in the game as long as she has that there are people out there that are literally setting traps so that she cannot do this. Here's the thing. It's a thing in Hollywood, whether this is acting, this is music, it doesn't matter. Allegedly, you age out in the industry. OK, if you all hadn't noticed, there's not as much talk in the media, although she's still selling records. She's still charting on the record on the um, charts. But you don't hear too much talk now about Taylor Swift. You don't hear too much talk about Rihanna or certain artists like, you know, like Beyonce's popular. She's you know, she's one of the best in the game, but it's, it's not as much airplay, much talking as you normally hear much oversaturation it's because the industry wants to age out people the older you get they want to put somebody else new and shiny in your place so that they can make enough money off of the younger people who buy the records okay because let's be honest when we get older some people don't listen to beyonce anymore because they feel like they outgrown her they feel like they've outgrown chris brown chris brown is starting to see this now that i don't have the pull as much as i used to even though i'm still selling records and charting i'm not being pushed out as much and that's what I feel is happening with Nikki allegedly and some other artists, you know, because the industry is like, we got to keep, we got to keep this money going. We got to keep the money going, the abundance going, and we can't just have it for you. We need these new people so that they can bring in smaller, younger crowds that are going to spend their money. Okay. It's just the way it is. All right. So. We have the sun card there in the reverse. Like I said, she's trying to get into an energy now where she's becoming more patient, more level-headed, because for her in the past, she spent a lot of time in her head, allegedly, being depressed or letting the negative news get to her. But this is somebody that's trying to take the higher road, okay? One thing about her, she's always planning, planning her next move okay making decisions that work best for her and the stronger she's gotten hoo, 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 the more she allows people to mess with her foundation let me tell you something you can say what you want to say about nikki and her man one thing about her this is what she considers 
her ace of pentacles, all right? All these opportunities she has coming towards her. She feels prosperous. She has all these new adventures. I mean, I'm sorry, these new ventures coming. There are all, let me tell you something. The industry is watching, all right? There are some people in the industry that are watching. Don't be surprised when she starts getting new, new clothing deals, getting new advertisement deals, or these other different companies wanting to come after her because they see these people that were running down the street, all of these fans screaming and hollering her name, you know, and you, you rarely see that unless you, you know, think of the times in which Michael Jackson was around. May he rest in peace. They see this. Even if they try to pretend like they don't, the industry sees this. This is a money grab opportunity right now. She's in a good place. Even though there are some that may not want to see her get this, at the end of the day, she still has an appeal to a younger audience that most people age out from. Okay? So, of course, with all the good, there's going to be some bad that comes with it because she is very, you know, like I said, she's very powerful. So I wanted to pull some more messages from here and see what comes through. Give me more messages when it comes to Nicki Minaj. I keep wanting to say, oh, Nika Mirage. Yeah, I feel like for her, she's, she's accepting herself more now. Oh, you cannot make this up. You cannot make this up authority and diplomacy. She's accepting herself more now. Allegedly, she's in a place in her life where Nikki's satisfied. I feel like she's satisfied with where she is industry-wise. Uh-huh, your secrets are safe. Her biggest thing here is having people around her that she trusts. She may be getting rid of people. You have brightness prospects are on the horizon. I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of deals and opportunities, photo shoots and, and things for her, things for her child, family photo shoots. Those type of things are going to be coming up for her because people see that even though they may have tried to age her out, she still has... A draw. She can still pull people to come out to pay their money, especially now that this pandemic situation is is starting to let up. You know, you have strength and wisdom. I told you she's gotten stronger. She's gotten wiser. She's learning who to cut off. And baby, forces beyond your control. You cannot make this up. Fate has blocked the situation and forces beyond your control intervene. OK, that's why I say here, you can't stop what God, a person can't stop what God has for them. OK, if you were meant to stay in a house in a, in a certain neighborhood, you were meant to drive this car that, you know, people are like, oh, she's not going to be able to afford it. But somehow you tend to make the car note every month. This is a situation right here where she was meant to be a star. And therefore, this is why she continues to prosper. OK, Whew. Man, I think I might have to do, I might have to split this reading up into two or three parts. I'm going to be honest because there's a lot of messages that need to come out for Nicki Minaj. My goodness. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead and put these away and I want to ask some, some questions. I, I had someone want to know how females in the industry feel about Nicki or the ones I believe that were on the reset um, wireless stage, but I'm just going to do it as a, just a general. Okay. To see what comes through. If you guys are enjoying this reading so far, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, I would really appreciate it. Let's do some quick questions about a few things. All right. First one, how does females in the industry feel currently about Nicki Minaj. After the wireless fest, how does females in the industry feel genuinely about Nicki Minaj? Babe. <laughs> Y'all cannot make this up. Y'all see how this came up in a reading about three times? They realize who the, they realize who she is. I just heard they realize who the bad bitch is. They realize that all them years in the game, this girl still killing it. They all they see is somebody that is out here winning. That the abundance that she has in this industry, it makes sense. 
she showed them why it makes sense that she is who she is, okay? You have the Nine of Swords, okay? This could also hurt some people's feelings as well. All right, with that Nine of Swords there, this can bring up anxiety in other artists. Nikki currently allegedly is bringing up anxiety in other female artists. They may feel like, dang, how can I compete with the king? Okay, keep in mind, she's coming up as the king of pentacles. It doesn't matter if this is masculine or feminine energy. This is who Nikki is. And she gives, oh, <laughs> y'all cannot make this up. I literally just heard Nikki's voice. I got him shaking, panicking. Didn't she say that in a song? <laughs> I got him shook, shaking. I don't know what she said in that song. <laughs> but y'all, that just came through so clear so clear there are some people around here they realize they got to stop doing this they got to stop playing it safe okay some people realize that they got to get out of this bubblegum music or this um monkey see oh i just got monkey see monkey do they got to realize they have to step their game up, step their pen up. They have got to do something different in order for them. Because it's not so much that some of the, the women in the industry are hating on Nikki. She literally made them panic. Like, and say to themselves, I got to I gotta do better. I got to do more. I got to... I got a plan because keep in mind two of ones in the reverse is a person that's fear uh has a fear of changing but when I pull Nikki's cards hers came up as the two of ones this is somebody that's planning and that makes decisions and she goes after what it is she's not afraid to step out she's not afraid to be different she if she feels like she's greatness then that's what she's gonna go with people in the industry now and it could um definitely just could resonate with those that are like fire signs i do get aries leo sagittarius energy here and we got swords okay so that has to deal with aquarius libra gemini it could be any signs in the industry but just know that females out there are realizing they cannot play play safe anymore in order for them to get to her level they have got to step outside the box okay look at that Queen of Pentacles has come up. They have realized they have been too comfortable. There is somebody out here. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because we do have the Queen of Pentacles. There are some females in the industry that feel like they um, they can't they can't keep playing it safe and being comfortable because she's still dominating. So how can I match that or go beyond that is the question. Okay. Yep. There's that death card there in the reverse. OK, see there once again, fear of change, holding on, being stagnant. Some people could be a bit bitter. I'm going to be honest. There could be some people that are a bit bitter because you got the death card in the reverse. And this is people that feel like they may be bitter because their careers are stagnant. I'm being honest. They either have a fear of their careers being stagnant or they, their careers are stagnant. It could be Taurus. Excuse me, maybe a Taurus, but could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy because we do have the I'm sorry, Scorpio. Because we have the death card in the reverse. There may be somebody, one or more people, that they are frustrated because they want to get to the king of pentacles status. But it feels like every time they try to do something, their career is stagnant. Okay? You also have, yep, six of cups here in the reverse. All right? Four of cups in the reverse. You have the ace of wands. Yep. There's some, mm-hmm, knight of pentacles in the reverse. Five of Pentacles in the upright. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You can't, you can't, you cannot get to this status half stepping. And that's what some of them are realizing. Like they've really got to, some, some of them have come to an acceptance. All right. She may have woken up, you know, a fight in some of the others. But when you have this, uh, four of cups here in the reverse. This also has to do with the person accepting a situation or becoming aware of just how strong somebody's impact is. And I feel like this is what's going on here. You have the ace of wands in the reverse. All right. You also have the knight of pentacles in the reverse. All right. Something is stopping boredom there needs to be a change in the industry. People could be very obsessed with her. There's somebody that is obsessed with Nikki. Okay. There is somebody that is allegedly obsessed with her, okay? And this could have been somebody she had a falling out with, allegedly, because you got the five of pentacles here. So this is somebody that's looking at her success or looking at her lifestyle from the outside, looking in, thinking that had they allegedly 
um, tried to maintain a relationship or didn't have a fallout, then they would be able to ride the coattail or experience, wow, shut the freak up, all these intuitive messages. <sighs> I just heard Drake. Um, if you didn't experience it, at least you got to witness it. It may not mean nothing to y'all, but understand nothing was done for me. And I don't plan on stopping at all. I want this. I want this shit forever, man. But you can't make this up. Drake could be somebody that is a good um, a good influence in her life. I don't know if this, this may be the person she fell out with or this is a person that's a good influence. Keep in mind, this King of Cups is in the upright and it does have to do with Scorpio Pisces Cancer. I think he keeps her emotionally balanced. They may have had a falling out, but it's... I think as they've gotten older in the past, they may have had fallen out. He could have been very cold to her. She could have been very cold to him, allegedly. But it's something about their connection. I don't know what their connection is currently. If you guys know, let me know down below. But some way, shape, or form, Drake is connected to all of this. Drake is connected to this portion of the reading. Okay? Hmm. You know what? I want to ask some questions in regards to him as well. Hmm. <laughs> Again, if you guys are enjoying this reading so far, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'm going to do a part one. I think part one, part two. Once this camera goes out, then I'll just use the other to finish the rest. All right. Let's see. Give me the most detailed and accurate messages when it comes to Drake. Drake is a Scorpio. How does Drake currently feel about Nicki Minaj? How does Drake currently feel about Nicki Minaj? You got the seven of wands in the reverse, okay? Which has to do with somebody that's giving up or feeling overwhelmed or have a lack of confidence. Hmm. Four of cups in the reverse. Something's going on with them. Accepting a situation for what it is. And then you also have the, hey, I don't know if these two are really as close. I don't think they're as, as close with each other anymore. And it may have to do with one or the other being very stubborn or refusing to change in a situation. Keep in mind, Scorpios are very stubborn. And I mentioned in the beginning of the reading that Sagittarius tend to be very optimistic. I don't know if these two had like a little, a little, they're, they're kind of like stuck in the middle. They don't really know, um, which direction their relationship goes in from one time, one day to the next, because right now with that knight of swords, he may look at Nikki as somebody that's very stubborn. Oh, he doesn't like something about that. She does. Wait a minute. But there's that ace of wands. Oh, let me tell you how he, <laughs> He feels Nikki, she's stubborn as hell or her, her her work, the way she works, her energy, she can be a little bit too much at times, but he has so much respect for her pen, her talent, her gifts as an artist. But these two, they bump heads. <laughs> there is no other way around it. So I don't know if they recently bumped heads due to a female in the industry. Maybe he became cool with somebody she may not have been a fan of or vice versa. Who knows? All right. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. That may have been some type of an investment that was made or a missed opportunity or opportunity that was lost. I don't know if somebody was meant to work on somebody else's album or there was a promise of working on an album or, um, or, or working with an artist and not working with an artist. But I, I do feel like there was something. Somebody may have said they were going to do it. They were going to work together, but they didn't. So there was a money opportunity that was lost, allegedly. Allegedly. Okay, so, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. He came through very heavy in the, in the reading. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Give me the most detailed and accurate messages that need to come through at this time, please. Give me the most detailed and accurate messages. How does Cardi, Cardi B, okay? Cardi B is a Libra. <laughs> Y'all know I'm petty. I'm going to just do this a few minutes of this and I'm going to close it out. <laughs> How does Cardi B currently feel 
about Nicki Minaj? Give me the most detailed and accurate messages that need to come through. How does Cardi B currently feel about Nicki Minaj? <laughs> that page of ones came out, okay? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pull those other cards. Mm, oh, yeah, the page of ones, and then you also have the moon card here. Hmm. Why is she looking at her as a page? What she thinks? I don't know. She thinks that Nikki allegedly is being secretive. And also she thinks that she can be a bit immature or can be a bit petty, allegedly. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, she. I don't know why her, her. She's she's worried about Nikki's new ventures, or she's wondering what new ventures, or she something she's found out about what it is that Nikki's working on. She's found out something about. Yep, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, she's worried about what Nikki is working on, what she's creating, what she what is she doing behind the scenes. I don't know. I'm just being honest. I think she's concerned about what. Nicki Minaj's next move is as far as like her album. Is she going to release an album or how is her album going to do? Is it going to be successful? Okay. You also have the six of swords in the reverse. Let me tell you, baby, I remember um, uh, Cardi saying, if I got to beef with you, then we're going to be forever. And I believe she's absolutely right about that. Six of swords in the reverse. Swords have to do with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Allegedly, she still has resentment towards Nicki. She does not have, um, I feel like she doesn't have a desire to work things out. I don't think they may ever work things out. Okay. I'm just being honest. She resist, you know, she may resist anything. Like if let's say, uh, allegedly Nikki comes back and say, Hey, let's just squash this and be friends. No, it's not happening. At least not anytime soon with her. She has some emotional baggage in regards to Nikki. Um, and I don't see her being obsessed with her or anything like that from these cards, but I do feel like she may secretly be watching her like on social media because you do have the moon card. Moon cards are secrets. The, um, Libra Cardi may have um, some Pisces in her chart, but I will say this. She is watching her in some way. It's about like seeing what her next move is, studying her. It's something I'm telling you. She's watching her in some type of way. Bottom of the deck here, eight of wands. Okay, rapid action, quick movement, making a quick decision. Mm. Y'all cannot make this up. Empress card. Yep. She's definitely watching her. All right, Empress has to do with nurturing creativity. She is watching her for creative purposes. Allegedly. Mm. Okay, and I'm going to leave that at that. All right. <laughs> I'm going to leave that at that.